An introduction to using the Tesla wireless power kit from Heliosis. Our story starts with Nikola Tesla, the brilliant inventor who brought us AC electrical power, the Tesla coil, and the dream of wirelessly transmitting electricity around the globe. Tesla, the inventor of radio transmission, did much of his work in Colorado Springs. By 1900, he had perfected the design of a wireless power transmission system employing spiral coils of high Q and a high-frequency switching machine. The ill-fated Wardenclyffe Tower that Tesla envisioned would transmit power and communicate to remote devices was never completed after his financiers pulled the plug. With the recent improvements in transistorized switching technology, Heliosis has developed the Tesla Wireless Power Kit. It comes with all of the necessary pieces to transmit real power using Tesla's method in a simple and safe way. The pre-assembled kit is ready to go out of the box. Simply place the spiral coils into the included blue stands and insert eight AA batteries into the battery holder. The kit is composed of a transmitter and receiver, each with a spiral coil connected to a terminal block. 12 volt DC power is supplied to the transmitter and DC voltage can be drawn from the receiver output. Turn on the transmitter by flipping its toggle switch to the left. The LED on the receiver lights up indicating that power is received. Adjusting the frequency knob on the transmitter controls the power. Rotating clockwise increases the frequency but decreases the coil charging time per pulse. In the setup shown, maximum power will be when the knob is fully counterclockwise. The receiver LED has three positions. Near for when the coils are less than 12 inches apart. Far for over 12 inches. And off when no LED loading is desired. The transmitter produces short high voltage pulses. Here is shown a single pulse of over 2000 volts using a times 100 probe with a duration of 160 nanoseconds. The transmitter control can be adjusted from 50,000 pulses per second to over 2 million pulses per second. Since the pulses are very short, they are harmless to the touch. The transmitter input current shown here is 200 milliamperes per division and about 300 milliamperes RMS at maximum power. Expanding the distance from 4 to 12 inches decreases the available power from the receiver. The best power transfer is obtained when the coils are in line. Useful power from the receiver is as much as 2.5 watts when the coils are adjacent. Here is shown the available voltage and current versus distance using a 940 ohm load. Efficiencies of up to 53% are obtainable at close range. Enough energy to light the receiver LED is available even at 20 inches or more. The basic setup can be used for wireless lighting. Here is shown four large LEDs with considerable brightness. Motors and fans can also be driven. A 12 volt, 1.7 watt fan is here powered up. The high voltage pulses in the transmitter coil have sufficient energy to make a CFL bulb glow. In this way, it is similar to a conventional Tesla coil. The spiral coils are designed to resonate together at about 6 MHz. To reduce the resonance, two matched capacitors have been included. Connect them in parallel to the coils as shown. By adjusting the transmitter frequency, it is now possible to see the receiver output go up and down as you adjust the resonance modes. Some improvement in efficiency can be obtained by selecting the best resonance mode for your load conditions. The transmitter can be powered using a 12 volt, 1 amp regulated wall adapter. Internal protection is provided in case the polarity is reversed. Never use more than 13 volts DC to prevent damage to the transmitter. The wireless power is not limited to short range. By adding an antenna plate and earth ground connection, it is possible to send useful power 36 feet or more. The antenna plate and ground are connected as shown. The plate is best elevated and the ground connected to the electrical ground pin of a wall socket. 
Turn on the transmitter to send the energy into the air. The receiver, positioned about 33 feet away, is also connected to the antenna and ground. Turning the transmitter on and off will turn the LED on the receiver on and off. The better the ground connection, such as a copper ground rod, and the higher the antenna plate, the further the signal will go. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next installment.